What a great game. I've kind of I've kind of been secretly hoping for a just rebalanced and fixed Modern Warfare 2. Because this game had so much potential. Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome back to the original Modern Warfare 2. I decided after the matchmaking came back online for these, I've been meaning for a while to do like a video where I talk about my favorite Call of Duty games of all times. Pull up my notes over on this other screen. I was trying to think top 10, top 5, honestly. It's hard to make a top 10 for Call of Duty for the total games that they have out there. So I decided to do a top 5. I was going to do like one video where I broke them all down. But instead, I think what I'll do now that matchmaking is up is I'll just jump in to each of my top five Call of Duty games, starting from number five, going back all the way up to number one, and just kind of talk about them while we play them. So we're gonna start out here at number five. My number five and my top five all-time Call of Duty games is, excuse me, is the original Modern Warfare 2. Now there is a lot of problems with Modern Warfare 2, and a lot of good things about it. If you've been around my channel for the last 12 years, uh, you've seen, I'm sure, a lot of the negatives about this, but there's a lot of really great stuff about this. And just real quick, we're going to go through and look at the maps. There were 26 maps, including DLC with this. Afghan, Derail, The State, Favela, High Rise, Invasion, Karachi, Quarry, Rundown, Rust, Scrapyard, Skid Row, Subbase, Terminal, Underpass, Wasteland, and our bonus maps. Let's get back up there. Bailout. Crash, Overgrown, Salvage, Storm, Carnival, Fuel, Strike, Trailer Park, and Vacant. And thinking back on Modern Warfare 2, some of my some of those maps, you know, are more I like them more than others, but there's not one that's just like, oh my god, that's such a garbage map, I hate playing on it. There's always been maps like that. In Modern Warfare 2, the new Modern Warfare 2, for instance, let's just say, there's a lot of maps in there that I'm just like, oh, I don't ever want to play this, it's garbage. From this Modern Warfare 2, three lane map designs, good flanking routes, other than the fact that there's a bunch of broken shit in this game with like explosives and all of that, it was really just a solid game. So what we're gonna do is jump into some games here, play a little bit, talk about, whoa, that's loud. Uh, I am actually on my Series X this time. When I played this in my other video, I was on my actual 360. But, uh, ooh, bailout, don't vote, don't vote. Yes, play some bailout. I, I think Modern Warfare 2 benefited a lot from being the follow-up to the original Modern Warfare. So it just kind of took Domination. everything that Modern Warfare had and just kind of turned it up to 11. We had pro perks, extra attachments, death streaks, which were not a good addition. Um, but just a lot of what was good about COD 4, they just added a lot more to it. We've taken the lead. Uh, not all of that was good, right? A lot of the things that were wrong with Modern Warfare 2 were where they just, for the sake of adding things, they didn't properly balance. Not sure how I didn't get that good. They didn't properly balance a lot of the stuff in this game. And there was a lot of broken stuff that either took a long time to get patched or just literally never got patched. Um, but a lot of the... This was back when kind of like the golden age of Infinity Ward map design and Call of Duty map design in general. They just understood the importance of three lane map design, giving players the ability to flank without having just places that were easily locked down. Oh shit. <laughs> I was gonna try and push it. That is a bit of a power position having an angle down from there. But, but yeah, just having I, I feel like, especially with Call of Duty games, weapon balance and variety are a big part of what makes the game enjoyable and replayable. But even, I think, more so than that is the map variety, the map, uh, like, the map quality, really. If you can enjoy playing a map over and over and over again, you can play a game kind of endlessly, even if... Call of Duty 4 was a great example of this. There weren't a ton, there weren't 26 maps in COD 4. But the ones that they had were basically infinitely replayable because they were really well laid out. And so even if you're using the same weapon on the same map for the 400th time, 
it still was fun to play because it felt like you were being tactical. You were trying to outplay the other team instead of just like, I don't know, grinding that next camo unlock. Because the game had to be, the game had to be fun on its own, you know? Oh, we pushed him out. Come on. I don't want to jump out. Oh, God! I didn't realize. Ugh. I have forgotten a lot of these spots and head glitches over the years. This was one of the later DLC maps, if I remember correctly, so I didn't even play it a ton overall. Oh, I forgot you could capture from right here. The best stealth capture spot. Are they going to come up top? Ah, let's push, let's push, let's push. Now, obviously, there was a lot of broken stuff in this. Not just when the game got hacked a lot, and there were people with, like, automatic noob tubes, automatic AC-130s. So there was a lot of hacking and just broken shit in this game. But also stuff built into it. Like, one-man army and one-man army noob tubes were just straight up broken. Care package on the way. All right, we're going to push in here without dying. Explosives, danger close, all of these. Oh, no, 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 thank you! That guy's still gonna be sitting up there. Let me push out. Nope! Oh, I can't dive or slide. <laughs> I was like trying to use a modern movement. I, I've said this before. Ooh, if they put. If they just remaster basically like all of the Modern Warfare 2 maps in the, let's call it the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, I would be very happy. They just took out, they gave us Modern Warfare 2, but fixed all the broken and unbalanced shit. What a great game. I've kind of, I've kind of been secretly hoping for a just rebalanced and fixed Modern Warfare 2. Because this game had so much potential. Uh, for what it could have been, and just wasn't. Because of balance issues. It's also the problem with stacking streaks and stuff like that. Is there was a high, high, high motivation for stacking up streaks. And playing super cautious and protecting your streaks. Oh god! Was that attack insert? Or did he come back? I can't I don't even know. So yeah, I think Modern Warfare 2 definitely gets some bonus points. For being so early in the series and kind of being just a version of COD 4 that was turned up to eleven. Ooh. So there may be some other Call of Duty games that were fundamentally a little bit more sound. One of the things that I will say did not make my top five. I should not have repeat that. One of the games that did not make my top five is Black Ops 2. It falls in at number six. Even though I think fundamentally probably uh, Modern Warfare 2 was balanced better, or Black Ops 2 was balanced better than Modern Warfare 2. Probably a cleaner game still had good maps uh, but I think compared to Modern Warfare 2 just oh it just lacked I don't know that je ne sais quoi I think that's where those kind of like bonus points that Modern Warfare 2 benefits from uh, are from is this gonna be last stand? no he's oh I he took cover it looked like he dropped into last stand Ooh, bad foot throwing a stun grenade one of the few things that was not good about COD 4, like Martyrdom and Last Stand, there was a lot of things with COD 4, it was like, just take those out from Modern Warfare 2 if you want the game to be better. And they doubled down, where they like gave you death streaks, where you had a version of Last Stand where you could use equipment and stuff like that. It was just like, all right, you guys kind of didn't really hear what we were talking about. Securing C. All right, running low on ammo here. Come on. Let's 
dump this in there. Assist. My man's up. Pushing up. Let's get it. Old school chopper gunner. Get it. Even this chopper gunner was. I wouldn't say balanced, because you could stack your kill streaks, but this isn't like melting people just as soon as you hit them, you know? There was a healthy amount of, I don't know, balance kind of like trade-offs with this. Plus, I believe you had spawn protection with a lot of these. Come on, baby. Chunk it up. You couldn't control it. Alright, I managed to get killed in the middle of that. You here? Oh god. Don't be. I don't I don't know where I am. Friendly predator missile incoming. Oh, friendly. Come on, get him. Alright, let's move out this way here. Friendly predator missile incoming. Yeah, being able to stack up kill streaks was one of those things that was a not ideal about how you could play this game, but 30 and 13. Uh, that was kind of like my go-to kit. There is, again, the broken shit. I did this in my last Modern Warfare 2 video where you can do one-man army pro. I even set up two kits in case I wanted to one-man army whore a little bit between the noob tube and the sniper because when you have multiple kids with one-man army, if you switch between them, you can basically just switch your second and third perk, your primary weapon, your equipment, however you want. So you can noob tube a couple times, switch to a sniper, switch to an assault rifle if you have another kit for that. So we'll try and keep this a little short. I've done a good job kind of talking about the good and the bad of Modern Warfare 2. So we'll play one more and uh, call this good. But this could be one of the best Call of Duty games of all time. Like I said, if there was just a lot of those really busted ass things that were fixed. Another good thing about these classic Call of Duty games is they prioritized ping for matchmaking. So you got dumped in with as many people as would give you the best connection experience as possible. And then the teams were balanced based on your skill rating. So instead of like you just always playing against people at your skill level, it tried its best to get you into games with good connections. And then it would try to split the teams evenly so that they were good and bad people on both teams so that it played pretty evenly. And that's where you got this ability to have good games or... Uh, okay. Um, that's where you got this ability to kind of have this variety in games where it didn't feel like the game was manipulating you. It felt like sometimes you were supporting your team. If you're a good player, you're supporting your weaker teammates and trying to help lead them to a victory. Sometimes it felt like they were weighing you down and you couldn't overcome your bad teammates to win the game. But it felt very fair. Whereas the modern games, because they're doing engagement-optimized matchmaking, it feels like they're deliberately manipulating you. The ability to win or lose has kind of been taken out of your hands because there's not that degree of randomness like there used to be. Now it's like very deliberate. Like we're gonna put you in games with people to make sure that you're winning and losing so that you stay engaged with the game. Yeah, when people drop out, it's rebalancing the team. So yeah, just puts you in with people with hopefully a better connection. And then it tries to balance it across so that so that the game's fair. It's just, I don't know, just a better way of doing things. Even when your right shield is on your back, it blocks bullets. That's right. Right shields. Another bad addition to Call of Duty. All right. So MP5 and a Kimbo 1887. Let's see what we can do. This was one of those maps that I remember being kind of a novelty. Let's do this. But it also was kind of complicated, so it kind of broke a little bit more of the three-lane strategy, although it still has a good three-lane design, but 
was a bit more uh, random and complex than you would normally get from classic Call of Duty maps. Oh, that's right. There's this. I forgot about that. I want to come down, please. Teammate, you're gonna bail me out. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Hold on, loading. Oh, I was like, try to use some darkness for when he comes to push. Oh my god, how did I get that kill? MP5 wrecked with that headshot. Locking up a new tubes. Come on now. Oh, look out now. Gonna do something stupid over here. I want to get close enough for some, some of that. These are, again, these these were really really bad. They did actually get nerfed during the life cycle of the game. These things used to be murder snipers. Oh my god, how did I get it? I stopped firing before I got that kill. Again, where you have routes where people can kind of set up, but at the same time you've got flanking options. You've got ways that you can try and break them loose. The best maps are always ones where you don't have a place where you can reliably post up that's hard to dig you out of. Oh, really? Oh! Sim that Simplex or Killstreak they got me? Yeah, now they're, now they're watching here. Oh my fucking... <laughs> Well, not command on, but the knife. Oh, the one hit kill knife. God, it took forever to get those guns up. There we go. I think he's above. Can I get close enough? Cover me, I'm reloading. Yes, sir. Where's your friend? Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a smart play, but... Got shot in the face. Enemy. Sorry. Nope, one's coming over this way. Is he gonna go up? Tossing stun. Get up there. Heads up. Enemy UAV oh! Second guy. Getting kind of locked here a little bit. You can't let him set up. That castle position is actually quite strong on this map. Weren't able to do it, but oh man. So number five in my best Call of Duty games, the eminently broken but fantastic Modern Warfare 2. All right, minions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me taking a stroll down memory lane. Um, look forward to my next video, the number four Call of Duty of all time. Yeah, if you guys didn't see some of my previous videos, actually, you know what? If you guys are have not been on my channel for 12 years, <laughs> go back to the beginning of my channel. Go look through my old, old videos, my original, like, Modern Warfare 2 videos. Go check some of those out. Those are, those are a good time. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.